You know, Sean, uh, I've really enjoyed this month. It's been Women's History Month. And I've been able to go out and do a few feature stories on really interesting women who are connected to the history in town. And it's really been uh, something I've really gotten a kick out of this month. Absolutely. One woman in particular, she's one of the first settlers in Las Vegas. Take a look. In celebration of Women's History Month, we are celebrating exceptional women in Las Vegas. We're here on the site of the Mormon Fort, the original settlement in town, and I have Dr. Linda Miller joining me today. She's a historian, an author, and an expert on Helen J. Stewart. Helen J. Stewart was a pioneer, a fascinating woman, a landowner. Uh, she's also often called the First Lady of Las Vegas. When did she come to the valley? Well, she actually came in 1882, and really it was because of a land uh, forfeiture, because her husband had invested, uh, loaned money uh, to O.D. Gas here, and uh, he could not pay the loan. So they came and took over the property. She did not want to come, but she said it wasn't going to be very long. She had three children, another one on the way. And at that time, Las Vegas was uh, really not even a train stop yet. I mean, it was just kind of a dust bowl. When she came here, she had something absolutely uh, unpredictable happen to her in the first two years. Yes, two years later, July 13th, 1884, her husband was brutally murdered up at the Kyle Ranch, only a mile and a half away from here. And uh, she buried him uh, with the Episcopal Book of Common Prayer, and she had to raise her own children from there. But she bought land up with her uh, father and became one of the largest landholders in Lincoln County. And, and that's where her story really takes off. And I'm fascinated by her. She became a, a host to travelers coming through the area, settlers coming through the area. And she only charged them a dollar, but she liked to see the fashions that, of the day. And uh, that was really important uh, to her. We hear so much about her being a civic leader. She was involved in many of the organizations that established the town, the post office, the school board. Yes, in 1893, she was the first postmaster uh, of Las Vegas. And uh, then in 1911, uh, she deeded 10 acres of her land to the federal government for $500, and then they in turn made that one of eight reservations at that time. Also in 1911, she was a charter member of the Mesquite Club, one of the uh, first uh, women's uh, clubs here. And, uh, you know, they helped build trees and, and uh, they had libraries, and then they also fed the troop trains when they came through here in 1918 on the way to World War One. Well, Linda, you have been a very fascinating person to connect with. Um, you have not only uh, studied Helen Stewart, but you've portrayed her around town as well. Yes, I've been doing this since 2003, and actually uh, one of my uh, more favorite performances was in 2013 as the first kickoff for the sesquicentennial when uh, Governor Sandoval uh, was here. You are actually uh, partly responsible, I believe, for the statue behind me. Yes, I uh, wrote the grant to get $100,000 from the uh, City of Las Vegas Historic Preservation Committee, and uh, that was dedicated December 3rd, 2011. You've also preserved our history here in Las Vegas in a book that you've written. This book is available on Amazon right now. Tell me about the book. Yes, it's a, a pictorial book uh, by Arcadia Publishing, and it, it talks about uh, the beginnings here uh, with the Mormon fort and uh, up and uh, you know to through the uh, 1930s. Linda if there's one year in Las Vegas history you could um, put on a dress and transport yourself back to and walk around for the day what year would it be? Well I think uh, that uh, 1916 would be a good year because this is uh, the year that she really got involved in, in a lot of uh, things. She was the third president of the Mesquite Club and uh, she really helped make things happen. And the rest is history. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have been here. And then she dreamed of the town and she helped to build it. Can you believe that old shot of Helen Stewart that I showed there right at the end? So all those images, Sean, almost all of them came from the UNLV Library of Special Collections. So I want to extend a special thanks to everyone who helped me. Also, the folks at the Mormon Fort were so welcoming, Carson and Beth. So thanks to them. And of course, um, getting to know Dr. Linda Miller was a kick as well.
you know, so important to be able to m maintain the history behind the city because let's call it what it is. I mean, she the, the, she was living on the Neon Museum property. I didn't know that. Yes. I didn't know that till now. We ha often in this city, we kind of move things along to build something new. And thank goodness we have uh, UNLV Library and others that are able to maintain our history. Very cool.